Hello, everybody. There we go. I should be able to be heard now. Yep, that's what's happening. Hello. Welcome back to the atrium. It's good to see your faces. We're back in action. And today we're doing art for a pride raffle that we did. Uh, so we put it out there. We had some lovely, wonderful contestants with some amazing OCs that they submitted. Uh, but in the end, I only picked two winners because that's about the amount of work I can do right now. So let's go on over to our art setup. All right, let me get into position. Get my pen. Situated. There we go. Very nice. I just move it a bit more. I broke it. I broke it. There we go. Okay. We'll keep it in a place there. So our first winner is Sky. You may have recognized them. They were another contest winner of ours a few months back. Uh, but we're doing uh, Sky again. And with their uh, their special uh, Pride flag as well. So let's go ahead and get a base sketch put down. I think I want to move myself a bit more, actually. I also need to start the music. Because that would be boring for everyone. Yeah, this should be fine. Turn it on here so you guys can hear it. Maybe turn it down a bit. Okay, let's get into this now. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Make sure I got the right pen. And they had a specific request for posing and closing stuff. So we're going to try to achieve that. I'm going to shrink this reference box for a bit. I'll just let it focus on their pretty face over there while I get this was figured out. Let me pull up there. Request. I don't misremember things. How do I want the legs to face is going to be the question. I think more like this one, where it's more head on. I'm just going to go and erase this bit here. Make sure my 
wild erasers on. So I can just erase away these other things. And we can't forget to that beautiful, ever fluffy tail. Let's see. Maybe we'll do it here to kind of circle back. It's because we got this arm that does this, and this arm that does this. They, they get kind of a nice balance. I think the tail would be better on this side though. And then. Have it loop around like this. So that we can get a nice curve like this. You know? Gonna make sure it all circles back in on itself. Nice circle of viewing. Some art composition. That stuff right there. That's a good general pose for me. Let me actually come here too. I need to figure out muzzle. I think there. Yeah, there's good. Let me actually turn this back up because I want him to be excited. So excited doggos have their ears. Oh. That would be their little hair poof. I don't know what I want to do for the eyes. I feel like I always draw a sky with the eyes kind of closed. I've drawn sky two times now, so maybe we'll do it with open eyes instead. And they wanted to kind of have a nervous, happy smile. A little blushy. So maybe something like that. Now we can turn that down. And let's figure out some more stable positioning for this body. Go ahead and start with the head. Do the hair first. Snoot. General snoot shape's gonna be like this, I think. Really get in. Some guide layer down for proper shape. Okay, um a circle real quick. General head circle. General 
cute shape and angle. are the burrows. Maybe I'll have them looking off to the side a little. I like that. Okay, let's get back to Sketch. Now that we've got the snoot figured out a little better. Kind of get in that nervous smile. Let's make those a little more. Triangular, a little less round. That matches his style better. Yeah, we'll leave the nervous line off for now. We'll just have kind of a shy smile. cheek riffle. You know, and I forgot to fill up my hydrate bot. Okay, hold on. Hold up. We'll be right back. We're gonna, gonna take a second and uh Get some water in the hydrate bot. Bot has been refilled. And kind of just repeat the same shape over here. Not that wide, I don't think. to be a little closer. Yep. I don't like that shape at all. Let's redo this. He 
these last two need to be a little bit bigger than that. No, oh, that's out of whack too. Okay. That's what's going on. I'm starting way too high up. Much better. Since they're excited, their ears are going to be pointed forward toward us. Whoops, I need to turn that way down now. They've kind of got an inner color here, like that. And then lots of floofy ruffles. But not quite like that. We can make them better. We can make them ruffle better. I need to make sure I leave a uh, room for the second set of ruffles. And then we can come back to this set. Let me come back to this area before I forget it. Also facing toward us because excitement. Get those fluffy ruffles there. Okay, and then there's on cheek, was one of the requests. So let me make a new layer. Let's um, just get a general hand shape here of what I want to do. Here, I think you'd only be seeing like the pinky with the hands facing this way, the thumbs on the back side over here. So, the pinky and maybe a little bit of this one, too. And that's about it. Let me turn that down and then we'll get back 
to the more distinct line. Whoops, I just realized something. Let me go fix that. Lower this one a little so it's not distracting to me. Hey, King, welcome in. Good to see ya. Hey there, I've waited so long. No subs yet? Yeah, I'm still not affiliate yet. I still need to get my um, three viewer average thing under lock and key I do a little bean um but uh welcome in yeah we're finally back uh in our country that we're living in and uh all settled back in so for a while we should have some normal streams normal on schedule but uh today we're drawing the winners of our pride raffle contest this one was uh, sky. So we're drawing their, uh, their gay little wolf boy. And then I gotta figure out how it would be like this. Yes. No, I meant to raise her, please. Thank you. But it's good to see your face. Thank you for stopping by and visiting the, the uh, atrium today. Okay. Turn this back up. Kind of erase away the things. I don't think the pad is going to be that far, far down the side of that paw. I think it's going to be a little closer to here. Go ahead and get some color indicators in there for future me. Okay, and then let's get kind of the line where the secondary ruffle is going to be on this side. I think that's it. It's going to get the eyeballs and stuff into place. for some blushies I can get those put in later let me there's a face pattern here I need to make sure I mark that in I can get rid of this now let's get their their face pattern put in here I 
I'm gonna make sure this line lines up with this new tangle. Or it's gonna look in incorrect. Yeah, there we go. I don't think when I did Sky last time that I put the divide and the lip. I'll go and put a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and then they have the cheeks underneath the eyes. I'm gonna come fix this one so it can have a similar shape to the one on this side. There we go. And then uh, that part's white, leading into the neck. Okay. Just make sure I've got all the colors separated, and I do. Okay, let's get some body up in this piece. Go ahead and make a new layer. Hey, welcome in, Suko. Good to see you. Uh, we're doing, uh, art for our pride raffle today. Thanks for stopping in. It's good to see your face around here in the atrium. I hope you've been doing lovely. Okay, let's see. Uh, yep, I'm on my new layer. Good to see you too, but oh, thanks. Uh... I need to... Trying to get in a better idea of this. Rip. Look at this neck in. The wrist is kind of going to come down here. Like this. Shape. It'll be kind of like that. And then we're going to have a hand on their hip here. Just going to get a general shape in for that. Are they? Yeah, they are a three bean finger person. Okay, with a thumb. I need to change one of these arms. One of these arms is a little beefier than the other one. That'll fix it, and then I just need to make sure that this one is roughly the same thickness. We'll get a rough hip shape. And doggo legs, they kind of Go forward first, then they kind of do a little backwards, and they kind of come forward again with the paw like here. And then we'll do that on this side too. Maybe we'll have this leg 
a little more in profile. Nah, that doesn't match the pose. About there. A little backwards. Not that dramatic backwards. It'll be a little backwards. Forward again. Heatsies. That's how it do. And then I'll straighten them out, of course. And then tail shape. Okay, let me turn this one off. This one's opacity. Come over here. Okay, now we've got a little better stuff to work with. I can tell right off the bat I need to change this layer. I need to get freehand. Just everything that is not the neck needs to be larger. This side neck got a little beefy. Maybe instead what we'll do we shrink his the neck a little. Yeah, that'll work better. Okay. Am I yep, I'm on the right one. I need to also before I start too much on the body, I need to Put in a clothing design. We'll do that one in red real quick. We'll just rough sketch out a design. I believe I have one saved that I wanted to reference. Okay, we'll try this one. They wanted like a sportswear look. We're gonna go with a sportswear kind of feel. They still want to be able to show off the fluffiness of sky, so I gotta keep that in mind. Some of this floofiness coming through here. I need to kind of distort this. Bring it a little higher up. Okay, I think I'm done with this. Let me go back to look at it match it. Yeah, there we go.
maybe something like this. And then they wanted like some sports shorts. Make them a little lower than that. These ones are going to be a little more form-fitting. Maybe right there. And then we'll make it kind of match the top. Have some of the fluffiness coming out on the sides here. And then we'll do the colors on it. Okay. See, this is going to be Sky's white part on the neck. This arm first since it kind of covers a lot. this wrap in okay um I need to kind of indicate the shoulder fluffies here they've got different color there different color here different color here they've got elbow riffles so we'll get those in I think we'll do one here too it suits it It's the beans. Okay. Let me go ahead and move on. Hey, welcome to 
Welcome, Tara. Uh, hey, this is Tara, the second winner from uh, the raffle. As you haven't started on mine yet, I was going to request a quick change in my preference before I must go. Put our outfit for the piece, but perhaps be a little formal appearing. If not, uh, then I completely understand. No, I can't. I was gonna go with something like regal and royal was my first thought to match her necklace. Uh, so that's the route I was going to go, was kind of like a formal, uh, majestic royalty look. You know, a badass battle dragon princess kind of look. So yeah, I can definitely do that. Thanks for stopping by and checking me out. Uh, let's see. How far in? That'd be perfect. Thanks. Glad to hear it. Oops, I switched to eraser. Probably need to bring that a little lower, like such. Get the shoulder ruffles. I need to change that last one there. Kind of got this pattern there. Let me undo that. Let me wait till I get the arm in here. Okay, much better. I'm gonna be like this. Actually, this one here is going to be a little more like this. And this won't come up off the body too much because it's going to be very form fitting. Have it kind of go up like this, and down like this. Like that, and then let's um, get some fluff along there too. Maybe just a second, little blip. Just a little blip right there. Let's figure out this hand shape. I think the hand, the thumb is going to be more behind the hip, so we won't worry with the thumb as I have it displayed in this piece. We will do these fingers. Thank you. 
this a bit here. Get the clues. I don't like the hand. We're gonna go back. Too far. Redo. Okay, let me map this out a little better in my mind. Okay. The hand. Be like this. Her finger, her finger, curved finger. Finger, pearl, claw, maybe a little bit of claw here, that claw there. Um, think, yeah, it should be more like this. And be a little more precise on that curve there. You won't be seeing this that as far down as I've placed it. So we're gonna bring it up a little. And same with the pinky. It's gonna be a little more like this. And we're not going to be seeing any pad on that hand there. My only thing is it needs to be bigger now to match the general size of the other hand. It needs to be kind of like here. Let me turn off this layer real quick just so I can work a little easier. This one needs to be a little less than what I've originally put there. I'm gonna erase that because that's not quite as matching up. I'm only gonna be seeing a little bit of this claw. Just a little bit of that claw. Just a little bit. We erase this back. I think I can get the thumb in there. Like this. Just put a markation there. Got to do fluffy elbow before I forget, because I will not forget. We need to do the color markation. I 
like that thumb after all. We're gonna erase it. Just better if it's not there. I think I was showing too much of it is the problem. If it's angled away, it's gonna be more like this. Bring that down, and then I need to make sure. Got the color line there. Then we'll get this strap. to center that a little better. Yep, like this. You'll be seeing a little bit of that secondary color, like right here. And in here, so I need to mark that. Get these in here. This one needs to be a little more in front. We'll raise this up. This needs to be a little flatter. that. Okay, let me turn off this line. I need to think. He's got some very special markings along the legs. I just need to see. I don't think that'll come into play very much in, in the shorts. I need to be, make sure. I'm gonna merge these down because they're looking pretty cool. Yeah, okay, there will be like a line here and here. Let me get the legs in before I decide the rest. back a little bit. And we need to go ahead and come forward again. Okay, now I need to... Put some thought into these two beans. Let me make a new layer. Make sure I'm nice and level. That'll be our floor level. And there are four toe bean and no dew claw. Let 
go like this. A little bit of Toby. Showing. So Bean's not gonna be all the way to the side like I had it here. Gonna be more like there. Get the fourth one there. Let me just make sure that's gonna be. Let me actually. Very rarely are we gonna see a foot that head on. So let me. Let me retry this. A little bit more kind of this way, I think, would be best. Still mostly foreshortened. Yeah, it's a much better foot shape. of the knuckle, but not fully cut it off. We also need an indication of where the foot bends. Indication of the last one over here. All right, let me turn off all this nonsense. Okay, that's better. I need to do some work around here. But this is not a standard fit. But the heel situation is going to be slightly different. Would be more like this. Oh, that's right, the toe beans are a different color, so I do have to completely close them off like this. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And I'm feeling lazy today, so we're just gonna copy flip. Get the tail in and then do a flip and then we'll go on to the next drawing. Guy's got a very flippy tail. Just overall very big flippy. Sweetheart. Let's see.
I'm gonna do it like that. Let me get my color indicators in here. I think we'd only be seeing a little bit of that top green. Might be seeing a little bit of this stripe. And then I'm gonna get a lot of the green underside. this point and then the fluffy black tip. I actually think that tip needs to be higher up. More like that. I can tell there's some proportion issues going on here. Let me do a flip so I can see it easier. Kind of drew it on a tilt like I normally do. So let's fix that. There's an arm ratio to leg ratio issue. I can see that the beans, yeah, the beans. Uh, there's a um, definitely a length ratio issue. I think let's whoop, shrink it down overall just so I can have room to work. Let me get these leggy bits. legs need to be a bit longer. I think this hip area needs to be genuinely a little wider too. I think you got a little too skinny in the torse or the end there. Use it clean up now. That fixed a lot of the issues, I think. I'll do another flip test. Always good to do multiple flips. But that already solved a lot of the problem. I think it's still... For sure what's happening too is this arm here. This elbow particularly is too far down. It needs to be... right now it's at the hip. And it needs to be higher up towards the rib cage. more like this. Yeah, definitely higher up. things. No, redo. I went to shrink. I 
Okay, we're going to be seeing more of this now, so let's fix it up. I didn't mean to shrink it. There's a quality to the legs that is not correct. And it's just in the fact that this leg is too... I think we're going to erase it and draw it again. I think it needs to be facing a little more in the other direction. They are a bit fluffy in the calf, so we'll denote that on this one. And then let me make a another preliminary layer. It'll be more like this. I think that looks better overall. I don't think you'll be seeing much of the other toes. Maybe just a little bit of the top of this one over here. And let's get the um that there. And then a little bit of this pad. And I need to adjust the size of the foot. Kind of match overall what's going on over there. I also need to just this a little. And then I need to kind of overall adjust it because like everything threw it on a walk. Kind of like this. All right, let's do a whole flippy. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me get these marking indicators in here. There's an inner thigh marking. And an outer thigh marking. And actually, with that foot being rotated, there we go. This one like this. 
And then this one, since that thigh is now rotated, is going to be showing more of the inner thigh color. I need to adjust this one to be lower. And then the outer thigh color is more like this. Okay, uh, let me blow that back up to scale. Do some flip. I think it still could do with a little... Let me shrink it down first so I'm not cutting things off while I'm doing this. Still a little on the walk. Okay, I think that's looking much better. Back to fit to canvas. Okay, so that's the line art for Skies. I will do the coloring on my own time because I want to get the line art for Terra done. But here's Sky, looking pretty good. Of course, I'll send this off to them to make sure it's the outfit they wanted and everything before I get it colored. All that good stuff. Okay, now we need to get to our dragon girl. Give me a second. I'm gonna hide my screen so I don't do a spoily. I pull up the reference. Okay. And I need to go get a napkin because while I was doing that, I was fairly brain enough to knock over the container of water for the hydration bot. Speaking of which, we're gonna go ahead and do some care stuff. Let's do some stuff together. Let's stretch together real quick. Yeah. Didn't mean to hide that. Okay, and then we will do hydration together. Let's get hydrated. and hydrated now. Okay. You can never hydrate too much. You're literally a fish, Amandi. You, you cannot hydrate enough. Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. Literally, Amandi cannot get out of water. Okay, so let's get... The general shape down. Let's do this in pink. I think we'll do pink. Pink. Thank you. Now they didn't have any requests on the posing, so this is just going to be completely up to us. But uh, they were kind enough to come in and give us a description. They kind of want her to be 
in a more formal looking outfit. So we'll keep that in mind when we go into the design phase. Let's see. Let's uh, start off with just head. Go from there. It's got a nice broad nosed dragon. Chest area, kind of figured out. And she's going to be more regal looking like I thought. Maybe we'll have her in a very regal, relaxed position. And then we'll have her tail coming around this way. The overall, we're kind of doing the same uh, focus back to the character. Let's maybe angle this muzzle more here ish. Her horns will be kind of be right like here. And then these legs are like under her. Maybe we'll put a little foot over here to the side to indicate that foot like she's lounging, but this is her hip on this side. So we're not gonna be showing the foot on that side if her, her foot's under her. Is good. We will have her kind of face this way to counterbalance everything happening on this side. I think we'll do like a half flitted kind of smug look. The only other request is that the necklace use a permanent fixture. So we'll get that put in. Just kind of roughly. Okay, I think this is the general shape we'll work with. Let's go ahead and block in some more details, some more specific stuff. see. She's got a nice broad nose to her. I do appreciate a good nose on a critter. Oh, I need to make sure. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm on the stable one. So, face of nose, we'll say kind of like this. Angles more like this. More down like this. The mouth or in this general area. Nostrils in this general area. Draw like over here. And it looks like she does have a couple scales on the jaw, so I'll have to make sure I include that. And I'll mark that out better when I get to the official line work, of course. Um, and her horns kind of go back at kind of a dramatic angle. 
So we'd be seeing it kind of like from this angle and then curling back. We kind of get the tip as it comes up a little bit. And then this horn, you're going to be seeing more of the side as it comes around this way. I need to turn this down. Not so much of the tip as we're showing there. But definitely something like this. And I just need to make it a little bigger overall. We need to make sure that in this shape we're getting a bit of that curve down that happens before the curve up. But again, not nearly as much of that length. Something about the shape's wrong and my brain can't figure it out. I'm gonna erase and start over again. I think that'll help. So let's go ahead and kind of copy over this. Yeah, that's what's going on. I was showing too much of the wrong angle. It's this one we're going to be seeing a little more of. spaces over here and over here row space here and here then we'll have her she's got a nice long neck to her let's get that kind of indicated be like this. Her first shoulder is going to be like this. With her first hand. The chest area is going to cover more of this arm. 
And it's going to come back from under. Do the second ball. Kind of get everything else erased out so we know what the overlapping is. In her hip over here. Little indication of that foot back there. The tail. How long a tail? I don't necessarily have her with a tail that long, but I'll make, see if she wants to shorten it whenever I present the, the piece, the line art for approval. Okay. This is a little higher up. And let's keep it at an angle, kind of with that head for now. And it's got a little hex shape to it. With the gem. Okay. And then we got our nice base shape in. So let's start. Putting down some serious line work. Some notable things is they've got markings under both eyes. And we'll go with blue because I don't think she's necessarily in danger. That little blurt, the little lore is um, the character is that whenever there's danger, the necklace changes from, from blue to red. So we'll have blue, because she's a little confident in the situation, so she's got it under control, whatever the situation is. Let me, uh, before I do much more of this, let's go ahead and get the outline of maybe a I need to also come back here. I got the wings. Let's do the wings. Let's see. Okay, so they've got shoulder wings. So since they're relaxing, they're going to be kind of in the same poses in this picture. So let's get a wing shape. Going back, then the front elbow, or the wrist, I should say, comes forward like this. And then we'll have the end, like, kind of here. And I need to change that shape. Because I have it moving too far out. Because of the perspective, it's going to be getting a little shrunk before the end. And we'll have the same here. It's coming off of here, going a bit behind her, so you want to be able to tell a little bit of that wrist peeking over here. And that's going to be over the body, so let's get rid of these places it covers up. Okay, uh, clues. Make it to match the the necklace a bit. Maybe we'll have 
a kind of shoulder decoration that matches that shape a little on both shoulders um, in between where the wing connects to the shoulder also with its own stone and then maybe some light flowy material that comes down across the chest plate I think I'm gonna have the chest be in front of this elbow too. I think that's better perspective for what's going on. like a, a shoulder decoration here that matches the necklace and its own little gemstone its own little hexagon shape and then maybe on this one we'll do a, like a wrist guard and then we'll just do like with a hex etching not with um Not with a stone, no. Then maybe we'll get one of those finger rings that comes down all the way and has its own gold claw. You know, one of those rings. You probably wouldn't see very much of the, the strappings, but we'll get there when we get there. And then maybe also on the pinky on this one, same thing. And you would see like the strappings there. Now for the back portion. See, her waist is like here. Let's do like a belt kind of situation. Like a golden belt. With some frills. And you'd be seeing it a little here. Just like one of those frills. And then should I have a headdress? Let me go ahead and put it in the marking 
And ball so I don't forget. You look at a little bit like a ditto took over her form right now, but we'll change that in a second. We'll change that in a second. Kind of want to do so underneath. I have like some chest plate armor that kind of mimics dragon scales. And it'll also be gold like her necklace. Extra protection. Okay. We'll work on this. Um, and if they come by again or depending on how they respond to it later, it may change, of course. Everything subject to change. You know how life is. Okay. Let's get in. Proper eye shape. I think I'm gonna give her... I've got four different eye styles. But I really only ever use the one. For... Uh... For commission pieces or pieces that I do. But I've got a couple others. I've got like an inward triangle, an outward triangle, a small square circle, and an oval. I think for this one I'm gonna do... the inward triangle. And I'm just gonna duplicate what that is. Because I want to... shrink there because we're not seeing as much as that side of the face okay now she's got markings so let's indicate those well first things first let me get this head shape in So you wouldn't really be seeing the points of these scales here. So it's going to be just kind of the indication that they're there. And then her nice broad snoot. layer down a bit more. This one too. Can I just get an indication of where that nude is there? Versus the cheek. A lot of this is going to be indicated by her marking. And I forgot, we're going to make her a little smug. Let's come in here. Too, too big. Maybe a little smug. We're gonna come in here, erase the tops of these. That's important to where this marking is going to go. Okay, it looks like she's got a little bit of a larger scale that comes out underneath this horn. 
And we're just going to indicate that where it starts. Again, you want to be seeing the tip at this angle, so we're not going to put the point. Get the horn in here. And it looks like it does a... one of these. So let me fix this. portion here a little bit. We'll move that up. And then got this block of color that comes down here and up the snoot and around that horn. Up the snoot and around the head, like so. And it looks like it's another set of armor, so it's gonna, we're gonna come at, have it come out of the head shape a little bit. Thank you for the stream. I go to sleep now. Have a good sleep, King. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for lurking and just chatting with me. I hope you have a great, uh, great rest. I need to not have it as curved. More like this. Because again, her head's kind of tilting that way. change this shape. It curves more with with her eye shape than just straight across like that. Let me come over here and fix this. all of this. Here we go. Okay. I think I've just made her horn too broad and that's part of my problem. She's got a much thinner horn. It's much more like this and not it's brought down as I've made it. Yeah, that certainly helped the shape. Okay, let me fix this shape a little bit. So this one was just 
an indicator line. This one back here is the shape cut off. With the rest of the horn being back there. I like that. Now that we know what that kind of shape is, we also need to come over here and reapply this with the new shape properties. Let's get that second horn or scale indication right here. I think this will be a little flatter. And then kind of like this. Yep, that was a big problem, was just I made her horns larger than they actually were. So we're back to the improved shape. Okay, let's get in. Her eye markings. change that a bit. I need to think about the perspective a bit more. It's gonna be bigger up here. This one's just longer, but this one needs to be a bit smaller since it's going back in space. And more like that. And then I'm just gonna copy paste it over and deform it into place. getting as much of this because of the snoot. Let's see, you wouldn't be getting that second markation in this angle that you see on her neck. So I think we've got her face markings completed. But I just realized that her brows are actually scales. So let's erase away these. I'm gonna come in here and just add that line there. necklace and it's a little bit of protrusion going on and 
And then I'm gonna do this shape on a different layer because I need to be able to warp it. Easy. it's more of a perfect hex so I need to make sure it's like that and then we can distort it into space into the right area right there and then we will get the circle sorry it's also a hex right Yes, it's a secondary hex. The hex within a hex. In which case, I can do this! It's a crystal. I'll make sure we indicate that. Okay, let's get in the color indicator. I think I'm gonna move this color a little more this way. Yeah, I kinda have our neck doing one of these. That way we can also get some of this scale color over here. Shrink that down now. Okay, let's work with the wings first. Oh my goodness, no! I'm being raided. Hi, Jexoy. Welcome in. Hey guys, how is the rest of your Metal Gear adventures? Welcome in. This is a very special occasion. Let me give you a proper shout out. If you guys don't know, you should follow our friend uh, Jexoy. Because he's super cool and has a lot of great art and gameplay stuff. I'm directly responsible for all the chaos you experienced in the past hour. Follow Jax or there will be more! <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Let me, let me see. Forward slash. Shout out! Let's see if this works. Let's see if I do it right. Watch me do it horribly wrong! Here we go. Unrecognized command. Of course I freaking did it wrong! <laughs> I can't do- okay, I'm gonna do the one I know I can do. Everyone, go check out our space friend, Jexoy. Let's see if we can get a ruby clip of him all up in this place! Here we go. Welcome into the atrium. I hope you guys have a wonderful, cozy time. So you ready for the second random? The next. Okay, so the next let's do this. Yes. <clears throat> you want to count down or do I want to count down with... Uh... 
You, you count down. I like your, okay. I like your, uh, okay. your Smash Bros. voice. Okay, let's let's get going. Okay, so. <clears throat> All right. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Jex is a dweeb. <laughs> we love Jex's smash voice here. The Wiggles crave the soul of the non-followers. <laughs> no! Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Sin. Thank you. Oh, I'm so blessed to be followed by such a cute dragon lady. Oh! Hello, look. New space friends. Thank you so much. Uh... You prefer if I call you DJ. What would you like for me to call you? DJ, okay? You're right, I know. Wait, Sid is a dinosaur? Is she a dinosaur? Well, I'm super lucky either way. <laughs> Thanks, Mario oh, fan. Thank friends. you for becoming a space friend. Then is a cute dragon lady. <laughs> Sin is a dinosaur, according to chat lore. But Sin keeps insisting she's a dragon. Oh, I get it. More space friends. That's right, Maestro. More people to join me in the atrium. Don't know what that's about. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. Twitch it is a glitch. Oh no, Mario fan. I'm sorry about that. Let me get my music back on. Hey, it's too serious. My favorite song. So, uh, welcome in. Today we're doing, uh, art for... Oh, and I've got a thing where you guys can see my art now. Boop -boop -boop. Let's see if it works. Please work. It's not gonna work. Of course. Okay. I had this little thing that would have shown you my art, but it's not working. Uh, do you not have chat points? I am actually not an affiliate yet. I need to get my uh, viewer count up, but then I will have enough. Uh, once I reach my three viewers, I will be able to have enough. But we have commands to suffice in the meantime. So if you do exclamation point commands like this, um, you can see all of our nifty commands. And I have all the staple ones there, plus a couple throwables that you can enjoy. So. For now, it's just free, and you gotta- oh! It's a dino! Yeah. So you gotta, um, do a little work for it so it's free. But I hope to be, uh, all professional someday soon. Hopefully. And then I'll be able to use things like channel points, but for now we've got the- the commands. Oh, I remember Nightbot, yes. <laughs> Nightbot is a helper for me. Big time. I don't I don't have that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've got a very short list of things, and it's usually just the things I'm going to make into channel points in the future. But uh, as I was saying, today we are making art for a pride raffle that we had, and this is Tara, the lesbian dragon. Uh, eh, I don't remember Nightbot. No, you don't, Jixoy. <laughs> Maybe we should introduce you to Nightbot sometime soon. But thank you guys so much for coming in and following me. And let me see. We're 95% of the way to our goal now. My goal bar is working. I remember my push to affiliate. I had a bunch of people in my chat for a little while to help get there. We can probably organize something like that. That would be amazing, but I don't want to pull people away from their busy schedules. You are Jax now, I am. How does it feel? Well, I'm only one step ahead of him in terms of knowing things. So it was bound to happen. I accept my fate. We'll help you get to affiliate Olo. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Because there's just a lot of things I want to do for the channel. Uh, you know, I'm all professional. I feel like laughing myself out of the room due to Sin's pronunciation. Sin. All around great character. It were her bunches. And Jack Soy too. Um, so yeah, we're doing art for that. We already did 
If I could just show you my art, guys, I forget. Here's all my fan art of people that I kind of follow and enjoy. And I have one of Jexoy in here we can appreciate. So this one's one I did for Suko Samurai. Uh, his character is like a mix between a traditional samurai and yeah, I'm going to show you the one with you in it. <laughs> so this is um, uh, a mix of a traditional samurai and a uh, future kind of cyberpunk samurai. Although that's really good. Thank you. Very beautiful, very powerful. This is not his official design. Um, I, he doesn't have his official design out yet. Music is also made by Olo. Yes, this song is made by me. But um, I did what I thought I could. This is our friend Oz uh, at Oz Cypher, the lore librarian at the um, at the edge of the universe. Uh, did some fan art of her. I'm going to switch over to TOTK. I started playing FNAF for the first time and somehow made it to night four. Wow, without dying. I feel like my lucky my luck ran dry. Well, I'm calling it there for now. Godspeed, Mario fan. Yes. Good luck, Mario. Hopefully your luck is still in store. Uh, this is a birthday piece we did for our friend Spelly at Spelly Does Art and XX Spellcraft. XX. This is our friend, uh, It's Opie. She's a big Rallet fan, so she's a Rallet onesie. Uh, this was a birthday piece for our friend, SBG. She's a uh, bunny-themed uh, shapeshifter girl whose uh, form changes based on her mood. I love that Rallet. It is so cute, isn't it? I was like, hey, I want to do fan art of you. Uh, do you have any references of Ina, which is her character here? And she said, no, but here's a picture of this Rowlet Kigu. And I was like, oh my goodness. Perfect. Um, this is art, birthday art we did for our friend Reko Gecko and two of his uh, other OCs. And this is the Jexoy rat. <laughs> Free real estate. So this was shortly after the Spamton uh, marathon thing, and there for a while, uh, Jexoy had a Spamton theme PNG to commemorate the occasion, and uh, this was just a, a fun piece we did based off of some jokes we were making on stream one day. So. <laughs> I still have it, yes. So we've got a Jexoy rat uh, in here. Uh, I said earlier in the stream we've drawn Sky a couple times before. Spamton glasses? Yes, those are Spamton glasses. It was Gartic phone jokes. Indeed it was. Good times. Unfortunately, the voice call for me to resume my travels, but I can come back soon. Until then, Godspeed. Thank you for stopping by and everything, DJ. I hope you have a great day. Uh, so this is one of the pieces we did for Sky. Uh, this is uh, Laura Lynn Leak does some mental health comics, and one of them is Polymorphous. I had purchased some, and as thanks for all the extra goodies she sent me, I did some fan art of Polymorphous and me. Uh, this is another one from uh, SBG that I did. This one, she's more of a magical space entity. And then I've got one more Jex that I like to show before I get back to it, and that's the cozy fall fashion Jexoy. And this was one of the... I can't say it was the first, the fir but it was the first in my new style of him that I did. So definitely still a good one. All right, let me get out. This was the first one we did. This was Sky. They won. Uh, there was two positions to win in the raffle, and Sky won one of them. So they wanted a sportswear look for their their lovely boy Sky. So we've got 
uh, the sketch down. I just need to send it to approval before I start the coloring. That way, if there's any changes they want to make, you know, we can get that in. But this is it for now. And now we're working on Terra. And uh, just trying to get in some, uh, like, warrior princess kind of fashion going on. Uh, because I came in for a little bit, requested something kind of fancy, kind of regal. That's kind of what I was going to go with anyway. So uh, we're just going to continue on. And again, I'm just going to do the line art on stream. I'm going to do the stream until the line art's done. So I'll be here for a while. You guys, I know you've been busy on Jack Soy's stream. So if you need to do any post stream care, make sure you take care of yourselves. Thanks for the showcase, Solo. Well, thank you guys for looking. I appreciate it. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in. If you need to take care of yourselves, do so. If you need to do a lurk, you can do a lurk. I'm just happy that you guys stopped by at all. And thought of me makes me feel so freaking happy. I'm a lucky gill. What can I say? I've got really great friends. Uh, let's... Gonna do some post-care. Definitely do that. But I'll keep lurking. You know me. I know you, Jexoy. You couldn't stop if you wanted to. And also, thank you, Sen. Also, Sen, go take care of yourself if you need to. Go have your cocoa and your cake. All that good stuff. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because I realized I made myself a bit of a conundrum. Hey, it's the last brain cell! <laughs> da -da -do 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 -do. I love this song so much. I don't know why, I just had to make it. Sin is very pretty dragon, very close friend, very close. <laughs> Okay, I need to do some more perspective work on this wing. So it's more facing us. So there's gonna have the entrance of it, the entrance, the start of it be here, and kind of the wrist would be right here. They kind of have an arm, usually, that does one of these. As far as the beginning of the... the wing. So let's get that in. Then that angle needs to be a little different. One of your best tracks? Thank you, Mondi. I know you particularly love this one. I particularly love it too. It's my brain so much of the time. Wait, let me look, get a look. He does have a wrist uh, nail. Let's get that in. Is this skills wings have? I'm counting three, but there could be more. I 
because of perspective and all that. Hey, this is speaking of which, Amandi, it's the one I made for you. It's Future Blossom. We'll stick with the three finger thing for now. But I definitely need to just set a bit. Needs to be more. Yeah, like this. Okay, and... Then her shoulder... It's kind of right here. We're gonna have the this shape come out first, so that shoulder is gonna be kind of behind. And we'll have the arm come out like right here. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate and flip this, just kind of finagle it into the position I need it. Yeah, excuse me, sorry. Okay, and then this going to be a little different. We're, let me pull that apart for now. We're not going to see that side of it. We were going to see the thumb and the elbow. It'll be kind of like this. I think you'd actually be seeing the shoulder in front of the wings on this one. Okay, and then I need to fill in this space here with more dragon. Okay. No, not all those, just these two. Thank you. Turn those down. Okay. And I've got the shapes a little better. Let's get over here. See, her wings would be folded up, so I think they'd actually be a little thinner. I'm trying to get my mind wrapped around this perspective. Hold it up. Okay. 
and I'll do kind of all the indicators, the wing. And then let me erase this. Actually, that thumb shape's gonna be more up here now. not going to be appealing at all, though. It's technically correct, but not appealing. Let's hold off on that for now. I'll come back to it when my brain can wrap itself around it. Let me move this underneath the clothing layer, too. Let's start with the easier shoulder, I guess. See this one? Get this line in here. Look at this. It doesn't really have a thumb, it's just a um, fingernail, so I probably need to respect that in the design. Let's see, she's got nothing around her elbow joints or anything. We can just bring those in. here and add in that children of sorts I think it'd be more like this and since now we know the stone isn't a circle but Another hexagon. We'll make sure to reflect that here. That's a better line than the one I had. And I don't think it'd be that far down. I need to make it closer to the flat end here. No, it, it was fine. Okay, it was fine. I'm gonna get rid of everything so I can look at this real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Let me go ahead and get the tail. I'm on the wrong layer. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. 
don't like that one. Let's try again. Once more with feeling. There we go. That's better. What the kind of feetsies we got going on here? Hey, it's one of my oldest songs now. We waited so long, we're back in the 2015 section of the playlist. She's got claw. Let's make sure we indicate some claw. I'm not gonna hide the rest of this foot behind the tail. Well, no, it'd be the other way around. That tail would be hidden by that foot because of the perspective. Turn that off real quick. I can just get an overview. Okay, yep. Yeah, let's um, do the hand next. That's here. He's a three toe bean kind of gal, looks like. So let's get that in. that paw a little bit broader compared to the compared to the arm. Need to more like that. Just shrink it a little bit. Am I on the wrong color? Why is this so much lighter than the rest of the piece? Probably because I changed positions. Do a copy paste. Not really. Root root, welcome, Reko. How was your uh big time trip? 
your your Germanic voyage. I hope it was good. I, I was so jealous when I saw you underneath the statue of the Quetzalcoatlus. I was like, man, get a load of this guy. <laughs> get it? Get a load of this guy? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it wasn't funny. I have so many pics. Yeah, I've seen them uh, floating about. Out and about in the interwebs. It looks like you had a lot of fun. A lot of castles. Heck of a lot of castles. All the castles. Lots of castles. Yeah, that's what I thought. I need to lower everything again. The red's fine. Let's get this body shape in. I need to maybe erase away this next shape here. I also need to uh, redo that line now. I just realized, and I didn't mean this in the slightest, I think I accidentally gave her the doge sit. <laughs> I accidentally gave her the doge sit, I think. Oh no. Shh, don't tell her. Please don't tell her. Turning like that. And then she's got a midline. I need to. Yeah. Get her chest space. That's better. I'll go in and add the separate plates later. I'm just gonna focus on the dragon shape for now. I'm gonna I'll do the clothing over it in a second, but I really need to just get in the shoulder, get it over with. Okay. Part of my problem is her connection actually begins this way. Not the way that I had it. Like, here's where it connects to the shoulder. And then it's got a flap, which we'll bring back up because the wrist is going to be back up here. And then it's about halfway here is where the hand starts. Technically, according to this uh, reference piece. Let's get those properly connected there. are kind of be there. And then 
We've got the one that comes this way. And a connection between these two. And since it's this folded up, we're probably going to be getting some bunching. In the wing, in the membrane. And then they've got one more finger down here. And then these three connect into a central pointer finger. For those of you who don't know, I'm basing this off of a bat's wing. So, you know, bat wings, they kind of look like this, right? It's what most dragon wings are kind of based off of. They've got the membranes and they've got kind of these going on. What's going on usually is this is a finger and then all of the little lines in here are part of the rest of their hands and they actually meet up not like spread out like this, but they actually meet up at like a central point. That's um, it's a hand with webbing is what a bat wing is. So if you didn't know, now you know. So I might have missed it, but what are you drawing? Oh yes, uh, I am drawing. I did a pride raffle and I picked two winners at random thanks to the wheel of chance. And so this is one of our winners. This is uh, Tara. The lesbian dragon. And so we're working on her piece now. Her clothing will be colored in the theme of the lesbian pride flag. Nice, thank you. Same thing here, we'll have some bunching because of the membrane. Um, and then we'll have the finger claw here. But again, she doesn't really have a thumb in her reference, so I'm guessing that's not really the kind of design she likes. So we'll do what we can see, which is the central claw. The claw! Alright, I'm gonna turn that off. Real quick, yep. She'll tell me if she's not into it. I hope so. I can fix it. I want her to be as happy with this piece as possible. And this wouldn't actually be that far out. As far out as I have it there. And then we have it coming out and back over. And... This is under. it a little bit. Okay, I think I could get rid of this now. And I could also get rid of this now. And then I'll just get in I'm actually going to erase away this. Whoa, it's actually on this one.
So we'll race away this. Merge those. And then I'll just get a new line. We can get a nice accurate arc there. Erase away these. Got all the, the parts. Let's add the clothes. Let me get this other shoulder pauldron thingy over here. Now I gotta figure out how it sits on this. Why'd I do this to myself? Okay, like this. No, I don't want a circle. Thank you very much. That's too many lines for a hexagon! I was making a freaking pentagon. Not a pentagon. Goodness! I just need to remember what shape I'm working with. How, how big did I make? I didn't make it very big, so it doesn't need to be very big. But we'll have the corner that comes down. Goes back out this way. The rest of it's going to be hidden. Courtesy of Wing. We're gonna see it kind of like that. I think it needs to come down a little more. More like that. Okay, let's get in this armor breastplate thing so I can put in her markings. All proper like. get a second plate in there just so you could kind of get the idea of what's going on underneath and then over the top we'll do the drapey bits kind of connected to the shoulder so we need to have a bit of cloth that comes like this this is going to be kind of flowy and form-fitting Sorry, didn't mean to tap the mic. We need it to kind of sag. I need to move. I'm not doing that. And then same here. And we have it kind of come up. And then back down. Let me make sure we get the holy lines. Alright. 
Let's erase away the stuff that would be hidden. Thanks to the cloth, the newly formed cloth. I need to erase back this part of her scale markings. It wouldn't be visible there anymore. Okay, now I can get in her markings. Thicker than that. Like that. I need to... We'll go ahead and put the ruffle back here. That you can see there, but she's also got some spine scales we gotta keep in mind. So let's see, the back goes this way. You'd be seeing them here. So we'll get that mark going. I'll have one spike sticking out here. Another, like, right here. And then it would be coming around the tail. We need to put in the tail details. So this would be the underside of her tail, which also has the continuation of this style scale. So we'll make those. I just realized a fatal flaw. I made those angled up here to denote the angle of her going back, but it might be a little different here depending on how this tail moves. Make it like that, and then she's gonna have those spines all the way down her tail. But here, since it curves more under, we're not really gonna see it all that much. More like that. Then it kind of curls back around. Like that. I need to have this not start so flat up here. It needs to also do a fade back around. And if you see that spine there, it'll only be just a bit. So I'll put a little indication of the spine there. 
So it's like it's coming around. This one needs to be the tallest. Since it's the most in line. And there needs to be kind of a mark in these indicating that they're more behind the scale. Behind the tail, I mean. The scale behind the tail. There we go. There also needs to be more head on. Not so curved. Actually, we wouldn't be seeing this one at all. Okay, let's get back to the clothing. I had a, um, an armband. Let's get that in. Do one of these. And this one had one of those hex stones on it. there. So you kind of see them here. Just erase away those bits that it's covering. Okay, let's uh, just try to get these bits of jewelry in here real quick and then we'll. Get going for the day. And this one just had the etchings. But it wasn't actually the crystal. I just go ahead and get rid of this. I don't know if I want to do the 
the fingers like I originally thought because you're not really going to be able to see it. I can do it on this one. So you'd kind of be like this shape. That's one of those. Let's make this nail part longer. With hers kind of underneath there. Let me make sure I'm not missing any more markings or anything. All right, let's do the flip test. Okay, yeah, on a walk. Okay, I actually think this one's pretty good. Let me just get in here and fix this. Okay, I think this is good. We'll send it to her to see if she's into it or not. And then we'll start the coloring if she is. But that's all we're going to do on stream for today. Let's turn this off. Turn that off. Put my pin away. Not not me. Okay. Pen gets to stay on my face for now. Um let's go over here real quick. And we'll see if we can't pass this love on to our friends. Who's who's on? Uh, this isn't right. It's showing me Jexoy is still on. Let me go to the... My frames may dip and I apologize for it. While I'm waiting for this to load up, I'm just gonna zoom in here. Let's do a raid. <laughs> okay, the only person I know that's on... Um is not one that's doing art today. So let me go find let's go find a channel to raid. Let's look at people doing Let's do some more Procreate art. Okay, let's look at people just doing art. Let's see if we can find a groovy person to follow. 
Okay, this is good. This is someone who's just starting their stream. Their avatar is super cute. Let me check. Twitch, why are you doing this to me? I don't know, I wanna like... Go for someone who's a little bit smaller. Pass on the love. Help them get to where they need to go. Okay. I can't find anyone. Why is this so hard to find? Like... Up and coming people. Bob Ross! You know that small artist no one's ever heard of, Bob Ross. Okay, we're gonna go with this artist because they've only got four viewers right now and it, the piece that they're working on looks really cool. So we're gonna go raid Run Easel. Let me get that set up. Oh, a sale, not easel. All right, so thank you guys for stopping by the atrium today. Thank you, Jexoy, for that lovely raid. Uh, before I go, uh, obligatory plugin, uh, shamelessness. <laughs> okay, and then um, if you want to join us, you can copy this raid message and follow us on over to support this new space friend. And uh, just thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful, great day. And until next time, have fun, space friends! <laughs>